Well, tonight, Baldwin County Public School leaders are trying to keep up with the explosive growth in the county and are eyeing possible additions to keep up. We have learned the school system recently purchased more than 100 acres that could be the site of a future school in Daphne. Agenda item five, property purchase agreement. At the January 19th Baldwin County School Board meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 Board members approved the $3.1 million purchase of 160 acres in Daphne. The land is located on the northwest corner of Cordy Road and 181, an area that's seen massive development in recent years with big subdivisions like Jubilee Farms. Daphne Mayor Robin Lejeune says in the last 20 years, Daphne has grown 60%. The growth is to the east. Mm -hmm. We're surrounded by water, Spanish Fort Fairhope, so our growth is to the east. Baldwin County Public Schools says it is the fastest growing school district in the state. To help keep pace, the district made additions at Daphne East and Daphne Middle, built the ninth grade academy at the high school, and built an additional elementary school, Bell Forest Elementary, to add to the Daphne feeder pattern. According to school records, more than 300 new students have enrolled at Bell Forest since it opened for the 2020-2021 school year. And we've learned another school could be built at the newly purchased 106-acre site in Daphne. One school board member told NBC 15 News they've discussed in work sessions adding another elementary school and transportation building on the site. A spokesperson for the district said nothing is set in stone and there are several options, but says they do know the district will not build a high school there. Lejeune says with growth comes changes. If you're not growing, you're going the opposite way, which has its own issues and problems. Now, the amount of growth that we're having and seeing in such a short amount of time that causes a lot of issues that we have to work on. Uh, stormwater, road repaving, all those things. A spokesperson for the school district says it will likely be years before anything is done with the land and that the decision to purchase was based on long range planning and the location.